in definitely this is Thursday um, entertainment Thursday here on Good Morning Kenya and as I told you this is the best show north of Limpopo and south of Sahara get to google that let's switch gear now and talk about matters conservation wildlife conservation we are talking about new era conservation which is a short film that is passing a message of wildlife conservation and in studio I'm joined by three gentlemen who were involved in that project in studio i'm joined by ian moreo right that's a perfect uh, pronunciation of your name yes it is. who is from world animal protection karibu sana thank you and also christopher kadima who is also an artist yes. and also in animal protection yes and also kennedy odongo who is the produ uh, producer of the film new era conservationists that's right karibu sana to the show thank you. thank you um let me start with you ian the aspect of wildlife conservation. Why now? <laughs> Good question, Mike. Yes. Uh, why now when it comes to wildlife? Uh -huh. um, so maybe I can start from an angle of where wildlife comes in yeah. as a person, mm -hmm. as also for the organization that mm -hmm. I work for, mm -hmm. that is World Animal Protection. Mm -hmm. We are an animal welfare organization. Yeah. We look around matters animal welfare mm -hmm specifically animal welfare yes. people tend to mistake between animal welfare and animal rights so we are an animal welfare organization mm -hmm. and our mandate is to make sure animals live a life that is worthwhile mm -hmm. a life worth living mm -hmm. when we come to matters wildlife which is the reason we're here today mm -hmm. there's a lot of issues that have been going on around for years issues that we should have looked into things like conservation things like wildlife protection that is uh, making sure that animals are living in the right environment, making sure we are, if we are to make use of animals or wildlife, mm -hmm. it's in a sustainable way. Mm -hmm. We are not making any impact that is negative to the environment, mm -hmm. that is negative to when it comes to sustainability, biodiversity. Yeah. We are making sure that these issues we are looking into. For, so, for a very long time, these issues have been neglected. Yeah. And that's, in where, uh, that's where an organization like World Animal Protection comes in. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that these animals are living in the right environment, mm -hmm. they're living in the right conditions, mm -hmm. and for starters, yes. animals are not being, wild animals are not being kept as pets, yes. wild, animal uh, wild animals are not being involved in wildlife trade, yes. which is a major source of cruelty yes. in animals. Mm -hmm. Before we've done work around issues to deal with wildlife trade, we've had campaigns that have blown up We've had a campaign around parrots. We've had campaigns around snakes. Mm -hmm. But the key reason we do this is because we want to see animals live a life that is worthwhile. Yeah. Um, we do a lot. We, we take huge risks whenever we are interacting in ways that we are not supposed to interact with mm -hmm. when it comes to animals. Mm -hmm. We are risking biodiversity loss. We are risking the environment. We are also risking our own health as mm -hmm. human beings mm -hmm. our interaction if you've heard of uh, diseases uh, that are called zoonosis mm -hmm. these are diseases that can be transmitted from animals mm -hmm. to human beings mm -hmm. and vice versa mm -hmm. he, uh, history and research has shown that a huge percentage of the animals that, uh, of the diseases that are currently existing that are at high magnitudes when we talk of uh, conditions like um, h1 H1N1, when we go into diseases that have shaken the world over the years, mm -hmm. you will find that they had a direct correlation with our interaction as human beings mm -hmm. and when it comes to how we handle and deal with animals. Mm -hmm. So over the years, these are some of the issues that we look at. Mm -hmm. Our mandate uh, started with looking at animals. But along the way, animals have become so integral to uh, the connection that our planet has, the connection that our health as human, being, uh, mm -hmm. human beings have. Mm -hmm. And that is why we're looking at in this case, wildlife, and that's yeah. why we look at animals. Yes. yes. Let me come to you, Mr. Kennedy. How did this idea of formulating this film come about, and how did you get to incorporate all whatever he has talked about to come up with this short film? I think the beautiful thing about art is um, pushing it towards the direction where you meet people who give you the right content to let your mind conceptualize and really create an art piece that can oscillate or relate or push their agenda. Mm -hmm. So when we came into contact with WAP like seven, eight years ago, mm -hmm. we started with Raise Pigs Right. 
You know, pigs, the way they are treated in our community, mm -hmm. it's not the right thing. But people do really enjoy pork and stuff like that. Yes. Now we started with pigs and then we did chicken. And then after that, we did a project on antibiotics. And then now our core area became wildlife protection. Mm -hmm. And that is when we were called for a co-creation workshop with mm -hmm. WAP. And then after that, the, we caught the vibes from the universe and uh, really created, called in the right artists. Because one thing, if you want to do a good production, you have to look for the right fitting characters mm -hmm. to get involved into that particular adventure. So that is when we came together with people like Priest, Extraordinary Poet, uh, Kinamics, Lucy. Uh, we came with um, Friends with the Poet, uh, we came with the Spectacular Kadima, who is a serious singer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we just sat down and did our production, did the drafting, looked for the best uh, studio to work with, and that was Truck Club Records. I looked for the right filmmakers to work with, and then I di directed the whole production, and we came up with uh, something we can call an agenda pushing production. Yes. Absolutely. Kadima, how has it been like for you participating in this film and using your, uh, your music to push a message out there? Yes, for me, this film has been very spectacular. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I can say it's a, it's a learning process. Mm -hmm. uh, Kennedy introduced me to being an artist. I used to write songs, mm -hmm. but they were not about animals. I just used to sing about uh, general life. But when I met him, he started introducing me to singing about animals just uh, that way. So I embraced, uh, I, I embraced his idea. Mm -hmm. So I decided, yes, I can use my art mm -hmm. to champion for wild animals. Mm -hmm. Yes. From your standpoint, why use art to, put, put, to push this uh, aspect or message of compassion for animals? Okay, um, for starters, mm -hmm. art is a new avenue to drive this message. Mm -hmm. uh, for years we've used research, we've mu used the media, which is a good resource, but we've had an untapped market. Mm -hmm. Art has access to the grassroots areas that, as an organization, with the limited uh, maybe resources, if we were to say, mm -hmm. and the number of people that work for an organization, mm -hmm. for you to reach wider audiences, you need to think of other creative ways. How can I use uh, this avenue to reach more people? So in this case, mm -hmm. art came as one. Um, art simplifies the okay. message that we bring in when we come out with the, when we come up with the research. Mm -hmm. Art helps us break it down to a level that the common Mwananchi will be able to understand. Mm -hmm. uh, break it down to a level whereby if we were to look at certain demographics of people that we want to reach with this message, if we were to look at the youthful population, today we know most of the artists that are currently um, in these spaces mm -hmm. are the youth. Yes. So if we were to look uh, at an um, avenue that you can use to communicate to such people. Mm -hmm. Art became as one of the key things that we have to incorporate ourselves within, mm -hmm. make better, and also help us uh, expand across the boards that we've, we've been able to reach uh, so far. Mm -hmm. In this case, when you look at the work that we've done with um, artists like uh, Chris, artists like uh, Kenneth B, you get to find we've found ways in which we didn't imagine we can, we can communicate our message. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about something like um, antibiotics or antimicrobials, which is an example of the work that we've done with artists before, mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't believe that it was possible to break down a message and be able to tell the people out here that um, there's a way anti the use of antibiotics impacts your life. Mm -hmm. But art comes in as a way that breaks it down into simpler language to understand. You know, you come from an angle of looking at research pieces, and when you go to communicate to people and people are looking at, this is quite a long paper. Yeah. This is quite a long, you yeah. have 48 pages or 60 pages that I should go yeah. through just to get a specific message. Mm -hmm. But look at the key point that is coming from um, the whole research or uh, the whole report. Mm -hmm. And when you get uh, avenues like art, yes. you get people who will be able to break it down yes. to a level that in five minutes, I'll be able to tell to talk about a whole report. Yeah. In five minutes, I'll be able to talk about a whole research that maybe took months in, to come in, up in with. In other words, you are simplifying the message to the easiest way a person who will watch that film will understand. Exactly. Now, Ken, um, yeah. from the film, the, the, there's a blend of um, music, spoken poetry, word, spoken poetry, word, yeah. 
and also the traditional elements of producing documentaries. Yes. Uh, what inspired this? Uh, you know, uh, we have to sometimes take the boardroom bottom to spectacular entertainment <laughs> in the film. <laughs> yes. Because uh, sometimes it's just all about reading papers mm -hmm. and then it's a closed nini and then policies are drafted but then getting them impactful on the ground mm -hmm. you have to look into the avenue and meet where the youth are really interested because those are the willpower mm -hmm. they are the they are the, they are, they are agents of change mm -hmm. so once we realize that spoken word poetry is a real main vehicle of letting word play rhymes similes bring youth together and help them take the message out there mm -hmm. we decided to dive into that mm -hmm. and then as always is music mm -hmm. has no language uh, once the vibe is right once the rhythm is right once the bass line in is right people will carry it with mm -hmm. you so we did that we chose on music we chose on spoken word poetry and then gave it gave them their fabric which is now the lyrics mm -hmm. we had to sit down formulate draft the real lyrics for the items mm -hmm. and then it came out to be a very very sweet piece that is impressed by mm -hmm. the youth of today mm -hmm. who really love spoken word poetry who really love music and who really love watching because seeing is believing yes in as much as we could do a very beautiful audio out of that without bringing it to the vision of of, of the masses mm -hmm. then it's nothing mm -hmm. so we decided to give it a seeing mm -hmm. is believing element which is the film new era conservation is mm -hmm. yes uh, how was the creative process for you in coming up with the lyrics also for this film yeah being part of this film uh, i remember when we were going to, stu to the studio with ken uh there was a time he he called kinamics who is part of the of the film yeah he called him he came to actually he came to our office mm -hmm. then we started formulating the lyrics i i was writing and then we were changing and tweaking so i think um uh the the the, the journey sorry mm -hmm. mm. The, 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 the creative process the journey how was it for you for me mm. it i i think it was easy mm -hmm. it was superb mm -hmm. and uh i can say it was a uh, it was like a learning experience for mm -hmm. me because it's the first time I'm doing such like a thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's a message uh, of compassion that is passed in the film. How do you think it underscores the importance of animal protection and conservation? Okay, um, for starters, it, it brings on the aspect of animals as sentient beings, mm -hmm. which is a message that we've been trying to push for a very long time. It's a message that as much as there are people who've accepted this message, mm -hmm. we needed a different way of people looking at it. Mm -hmm. uh, if today we are to look at, uh, at animals and sentience, the same way you do have feelings, an animal has feelings. Yeah. The same way you do thrive in an environment that is conducive for you, mm -hmm. an animal thrives in an environment that is conducive for yes, you. Yes. So it brings on that aspect of, if we were to say for lack of a better word, Utu. Um, when we to look at the aspect of animals, they have the same, same thing as human beings, we, ha we do have feelings, we, do, uh, we are sensitive beings, animals have the same, same thing. When we get to an aspect of animals, they do feel pain, they do feel happiness, they do feel sadness. Mm -hmm. And this is an aspect that we can bring out very well mm -hmm. uh, with uh, such a film or yes. with uh, aspects such as uh, art mm -hmm. and poetry and music. Yes. Yes. H how was casting for you? Oh, my experience in the field as a... A grandfather in the <laughs> realm of spoken word poetry. <laughs> Allow me to call me a grandfather. I've been there for much too long. Uh, gave me a very easy opportunity to 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 pull the artists together mm -hmm. and even uh, save some for other projects. Because mm -hmm. uh, do you know what? Uh, in spoken word poetry, you don't say that somebody is better than the other. Because uh, all these things come from our hearts, and our hearts are unique. So you only pick the convenient. Mm -hmm. Those were there at that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I got the best out of the, to, to, to put, to cast, mm -hmm. and then the musicians are always there. So it's not, it's not hard for me mm -hmm. uh, to make uh, uh, a thing work, mm -hmm. a project work, mm -hmm. to, to pull up an event, 
to to create a film, mm -hmm. to go to the studio and produce, mm -hmm. to 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 tweak the lyrics to fit mm -hmm. the particular interest of any other organization out there mm -hmm. who really wants their agenda to be driven by art per se. Yes. It's not a difficult thing for me. So it works like a spark because mm -hmm. we have the people and we have. Uh, a good environment, working environment with them. Mm -hmm. yep. I'll throw this question to both of you. Uh, the, 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 there's the aspect of emotion that this film drives. What do you think, or why, why was this approach necessary, especially when it comes to spoken word or writing lyrics? Uh, for lyrics, uh, I'll say the emotional aspect mm -hmm. is used to to capture the attention of the people. Mm -hmm. You know, mostly artists, uh, they, they write uh, songs about love, mm -hmm. <coughs> about heartbreaks. So we used that <laughs> approach <laughs> to ensure that we are capturing the hearts yes. of, uh, of the fans. Yes. Yes, to yes. ensure that really the animals are well taken care of uh -huh. and are preserved. Yes. In fact, yes. just building on that, yes. uh, we, we chose this baby elephant uh -huh. uh, as a, a stray baby elephant who was hurt and had to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. And that is emotional enough to let somebody realize that you can't just pa pass an injured animal and go your way leaving it crying or weeping down there. Yes. So we wanted to pull that uh, the, uh, the emotion of the viewer yes. to realize that it's important to take care of the animal. Yes. And that is why we chose Spoken Word, which yes. is very passionate and very calling and very healing and very embracing and very charming, mm -hmm. just to pull the hearts towards our cause. Mm -hmm. Why was that necessary? Tell me From again. From standpoint. Yes. Like <laughs> the, the, uh, appealing to the emotional aspect of it and making sure that Whoever watches this film feel, feels compassionate, yes. connects emotionally with what is happening on the screen. From your standpoint, why was this approach necessary? For starters, when, which I admit I am not an expert, but when it comes to human beings, yes. we react to different things uh, differently. Uh, when it comes to how we react to issues that are happening in our society, mm -hmm. when it comes to what makes us do what we do, yes. um, there are people who do things because um, they feel a certain way. Yes. In an aspect where you're, you're in an emotional state, mm -hmm. where you felt that something really touches you, mm -hmm. um, you can be able to make decisions out of mm -hmm. such an aspect yes. to either feed the good mm -hmm. or on the other end, yes. the bad as well. Yeah. But in this case where you're showcasing someone felt emotional about a baby elephant, uh, made some change, uh -huh. and here is the result of what they did. Uh, if you look at the film, um, it's a ceremony that showcases uh, the celebration of the new era conservationist, yeah. someone who took care of an animal. Yes. So in a scenario where you s you're in the same kind of situation, uh -huh. where you have a chance to take care of an animal, and in the back of your mind you've seen an aspect of celebration out of this. Yes. In most cases, you're drawn towards yes. doing the same. Uh, we, we tend to familiarize ourselves or attach ourselves mm -hmm. to situations in which we can relate. Mm -hmm. If I can relate to such a situation, mm -hmm. I'll probably react a certain way or react in a way that is similar to the reactions from what I had seen, mm -hmm. what I had had, yes. and what has been existing. Mm -hmm. In this scenario, um, the emotional aspect of showcasing um, someone taking care of mm -hmm a baby elephant, yes. an injured baby elephant. And out of it comes good, celebrated by the society, celebrated by the government. And generally, we are benefiting our ecosystem yes. as human beings. Yes. Animals do have a great impact on mm -hmm. our lives, in the driving of our environments, mm -hmm. and also our planet, mm -hmm. generally, because mm -hmm. we are all part of the same, same planet. Yeah. So those are the aspects that you look at. You do want to see some certain type of change. So how can you appeal to the feelings of your audience or mm. the feelings of the people that you want to communicate to yeah. to make ch the change that you want to see. Right. People did relate to okay. this okay. and so that this is something that I'd, I'd want to be part of. Okay. So appeal from that angle. All I right. think just briefly just to top on that, mm -hmm. I remember when we had a private watch party at WAP, mm -hmm. World Animal Protection Africa in the office, uh, the, the director Tennyson said that, but Ken, why couldn't we give this uh, um, new era conservationist a bigger gift mm -hmm. uh, so that it pulls more people towards that? Mm -hmm. And that is what uh, Ian is saying, that celebrating someone for doing a, a, a good thing yes. pulls more people to act good. Yes. And that was the intention. Yes. Yeah. Maybe 
Unaweza tuchapia tu ka spoken word kidogo kidogo hapo but I want you to do that I, I, I want you to do that after Odongo answers these questions are there any new innovative solutions that new era conservationist is bringing as a film Of course yes yes uh, there are very many interested parties mm -hmm. who are joining the movement mm -hmm. who are giving us very positive comments about the film we've done who are engaging us already for the second production of uh, another film from this mm -hmm. and uh, our main partners world africa protection mm -hmm. is excited about the whole thing so when your boss is excited about your work mm -hmm. then you know that you're doing the right thing mm -hmm. and when youth are pulling in to chip in and yes. ask for more opportunities about this yes. that's a good aspect yes. and when kbc is hosting you mm -hmm. to ask you about new era conservationists yes. in a very respectful way like we are doing right now yes. it means it's impactful yes. so i celebrate you nice yes thank you kadima yes take it away maybe i'll, I'll sing a song uh, he'll, no he'll do spoken word <laughs> oh, oh yeah all right i'll just yeah. i'll just no. throw a word <laughs> <laughs> i'll just throw something <laughs> okay uh, um i have a uh, a rumba <laughs> it's rumba like yes they yeah. are very small actually it's emotional feel free it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> mungu aliumba ulimwengu akaumba adam na hawa eh aliumba adam na hawa akaumba mpaka wanyama akaambia adam na hawa wawatunze nasema tulinde wanyama wanyama waporini Eh hey, tulinde wanyama nasema tulinde wanyama ye 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 tulinde wanyama nice nice yes. that calls for a club haya <laughs> odongo udoki hapa kama hujafanya spoken word <laughs> congratulations for being bold enough in promoting natural freedom for wild animals in this new world that now calls you a new era conservationist <laughs> unlike hunters who call cheers cheers your kindness makes me tie gas cylinders to celebrate your uh, uh, endeavors in promoting natural freedom, freedom. for wild, wild animals. animals nice that is a very nice message oh, yes. I want you to close with this. What do you hope people will learn from this film? Okay. Um for one we want to realize or we want people to realize that as a start animals are sentient beings. Mm -hmm. Two, you can make change in a world that people really thought was mm -hmm. left behind or there is no more change that we can make. Yes. As a nation we've come too far in the protection of animals mm -hmm. uh, over the years we've seen changes come on we've seen um laws being set up yeah. uh, around the realm of wildlife yeah. we want to see more people fall behind this um agenda mm -hmm. we want to see more people fall in uh, and come in support of yes. wildlife protection in support of um animal welfare promotion as well as making sure we reach wider audiences that is creating awareness around the issues that exist considering uh when it comes to animals yeah. for a very long time we've thought about ourselves as human beings looking at the changes we can make for ourselves yeah. if we are to look at that aspect mm -hmm. animals do have an impact in what we do yes. they do have an impact in the lives that we live yes. and bringing in that aspect of protecting animals yes taking care of animals yeah. and making sure that we give them a life worth living thank you is a way that we will be able to make sure we ensure our prosperity as human beings yeah. as well as making sure our planet yeah. thrives two seconds your yeah. parting shot my parting shot yeah uh wewe anasema msanii ni kio cha jamii so i want to urge my fellow artists when you are writing write about animals it will ch it will bring a difference mm -hmm. To the wildlife all right that's how can people watch the film new era conservationist film ian should have said that long time already <laughs> is on <laughs> wild <laughs> animal protection youtube channel yes and they can just go to youtube channel wild animal protection africa mm -hmm. drop there and share and comment and uh, let the world know that art is not limited to singing love songs alone mm -hmm. 
art encompasses loving the world and protecting the animals of the world and saving our environment and letting our voices be heard for positive change. Mm -hmm. Art is positive. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Your time is appreciated. That is Kennedy Odongo, Christopher uh, Kadima, and Ian Muriu from the New Era Conserv uh, Conservationist. Hey, mm. Cons conservationist film that uh, spreads the message of taking care of world uh, wildlife. Now, this is where we end this conversation. But don't go too, don't go too far. Entertainment Thursday continues in just a bit. Good morning. An event with music and poetry currently taking place at the Green Talk Gardens. It's all about securing natural freedom for all wild animals. Let's head there and catch the live event as it unfolds. Greetings. Greetings and love to all those who are joining us to celebrate this new era conservationist whose commitment in freeing animals from captivity has not only touched the world, but has also brought many souls together in recognizing our dedication in upholding the emancipation of wild animals from man-made cages. Thank you. Now to start us off, let us get some great music from none other than K-Namics. <laughs> Freedom. You are a hero. 